Hi, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and today in this video I'll be talking about Kobiton, a cloud-based solution to run your automation testing of iOS and Android operating system within their own real devices. So we are going to work with Kobiton in collaboration with Catalon Studio and we'll see how we can run our existing mobile automation test cases on Kobiton platform. Alright, so let's get started. Before starting this video, I would really like to thank Kobiton and Catalon Studio teams who gave me an extra hours and subscription to try out their own Kobiton portal for testing applications within multiple platforms like Android and iOS operating systems on a real devices. And as you can see that the subscription that I have is this and it has really a lot of minutes to try out and see how it actually works. It really helped me because I could able to try out on real devices with different kinds of permutations and combinations and it seems like it is really really working fine without any problem. Thank you once again. Kobiton. Simply putting, Kobiton is a web portal which helps anyone to test their application on real devices or the cloud. It can be in Android or an iOS operating system. So you can compare Kobiton with Xamarin Test Cloud and it's something called as Visual Studio App Center right now or SAS Labs or Perfecto Mobile. So all these are something which are doing pretty much exactly what Kobiton is doing. But the Kobiton's platform is kind of easy to use because they have their own infrastructure built with Catalan Studio and it's very easy to configure and get started. So we can compare a few licensing with the now released App Center, which is Visual Studio App Center. You can see that you can try out the Kobiton platform for zero dollars so without any credit cards. Uh, and it's completely free. In the Visual Studio App Center case, you can see that there is a dollar forty per month uh, licensing, which is pretty much like you can run unlimited number of hours, and it is easy to build and things of that nature. So this is kind of very easy if you're going to work with a large project. But if you want to try out, you can use the Kobiton platform for free. And you can see there is a dollar ten with hundred prepaid minutes. I guess this is where Visual Studio App Center is going to gain popularity because you can see with the dollar forty per month you can still run your test unlimited with multiple builds running in parallel and also you can try out with multiple devices but as of now the limitations with the Visual Studio App Center is there are very few number of devices and the latency is pretty pretty slow the availability of devices pretty pretty slow whereas in Kobiton the availability of devices is much faster and much easier we can see that in this video. So this is the license comparison and I feel that Catalan is kind of very available in terms of devices whereas Visual Studio App Center is kind of pretty new and it's still using the Xamarin's test cloud to perform these kinds of operation. Maybe in future they will evolve but in the same time Kobiton will also evolve, who knows. So getting started with Kobiton using Catalan Studio is much simpler. You can see we can directly go to the Catalan Studio's preference option and then you can just enter your authentications like username and password and boom it will automatically connect to the Corbiton server and there will be an API key which is automatically populated for you and that's the secret key which is used to communicate with your Catalan Studio with the Corbiton server. That's it. That's the very very simple connectivity of Corbiton from Catalan Studio. So let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that I'm going to flip to Catalan Studio. Alright, so this is our Catalan Studio and we have already worked with many projects within our course so far. And this is the Catalan Android demo where we ran our test on the real Android devices before. And today I'm not going to run the test on the real Android device because this test case is something which we have already ran in multiple times with the same Android devices. But I'm not going to show this time with the same Android device. Rather, we are going to run this test on the Kobiton device. So before running the test on the Kobiton device, we need to register Kobiton in their own server. So you can see the registration is much easier. So you can directly go to the Kobiton here and you can register yourself and you can just see there is a free trial option available. You can just enter a username and passwords and things of that nature. That's it. Boom. You're ready to go with that. And I already have a subscription as I've shown in the slide before. This is the one. And I tried with multiple devices. You can see I have my favorite devices here. I ran the test in these devices and it's working like charm. 
and you can see there are a number of devices available and most of the devices are kind of very very recent and popular and the operating systems are kind of new as well so you can try it with your own applications here so where does this application sits because we first of all have to upload our application so that it can be available on the cloud that's something which we need to do beforehand in Cobitan whereas in the Visual Studio App Center it can be uploaded on the fly but it's pretty much exactly the same thing how we do in the command line in Visual Studio App Center versus Cobitan's platform. As you can see here, there is an Apps tab, and you can see here there is an option like click to add a new app. So if you hit that, it's going to bring you uh, an option to add the applications like APK or IPA file. So you can add that. I have already added an application of mine, which is nothing but the Execute Automation Xamarin app for iOS and EA new app. So these are the two apps which I uploaded and this is for the iOS operating system which we will be seeing later in next video and this is for the Android application which you can see the Android symbol is there in the watermarking. So this is the application which we're going to run this time and you can see this is the same application which we already executed before in the same Android emulator. So I'm going to run this particular test and you can see I have just uploaded the application and if you click this guy here you can see there is an application ID, versions, updated and uploaded by Execute Automation. So you can click this and you can see there is a automation snippet available and this automation snippet is very important. So you can see, so this is the one key which you require for your test case to see which application you're going to execute. So you got to copy this and if you come to the Catalan Studio here to the script tab if you go here. Remember in our previous videos, for the start application, we gave the APK file path, but here I gave the Catalan Cobitan hyphen store colon v3834. This is exactly the same one here that you're seeing. So I just pasted it here and this parameter reminds the same thing. So this is the only change which I'm going to do with my existing code other than the APK file path here. I'm going to give the cobitan hyphen store colon v3834. That's it. That's the only thing which I have to pass in. Other than that, the code is going to remain pretty much the same thing that what we have discussed before. Right. So that's it. So first of all, you need to go here, upload the application, and then you get the automation snippet. And then you paste the automation snippet over here so that you can talk with your test case to that particular real device application. But most important thing is when to configure the Catalan Studio to talk with the Cobitans cloud system, which we can do from here. You can go to the Windows, Catalan Studio Preferences, go to Cobitan, and here is where you're going to enter the username and password. It's going to bring in your Cobitan server, and then here is the APK file, which is going to be secret for me, and it's going to be changing for you as well. So that's the only configuration I made. That's it. That's the only few simple changes I got to do. And then if I go all the way to the run and if I hit this Cobitan devices, it's going to talk to the Cobitan server and you can see it's automatically bringing me all the devices which I made favorite. And you can see here, I have this G3S 4.4.2. If I go to my Cobitan portal, G3S, this is the device and then iPhone 6 and iPhone 6s so these are the devices automatically coming in in this particular ui as well so i'm going to choose the g3s and if you're going to choose some other devices you can just go hop over here and then you can select any other device and then you can select this as marcus favorite so automatically that's going to populate for you in this particular uh, ui as well but as of now i'm going to go with the g3s 4.4.2 i'm going to hit ok and you can see it is automatically going to communicate with the Cobitan server and you can see it is setting all the preferences and then it's going to start executing the test cases over there. I guess the test case is going to fail because for some reason one of the objects is not being identified. Procedure is going to show you as passed here but that's okay. That's not the matter of fact what we're going to talk about but the only thing which we are interested in is actually to see how the log is being dumped and how the screenshot is being taken and how the test is being executed. So you can see the test case is currently in execution mode. And if I go to the portal here and let's say if I go to the sessions here, 
this session is something which is responsible for showing me all the sessions which I have executed. Then you can see all the different kinds of user who executed the test before. But the one which I'm looking for is my own users. So you can just uh, see, select the user as execute automation here. And all right, so exit automation has different test session. And this is the one which is currently running. And if you click this particular session, you can see it's going to show which device you're running the test and uh, what is the status of the run and what is the automation info has been happening and what is the HTTP command being executed. You can see all these uh, commands are being executed, pretty much the web driver sessions. And there is a log which will appear only while you stop the execution of the test. Let's see what's happening. Okay, you can see that it's green color here, but still I know there is some failures. You can see it failed to tap the element. That's okay. So I'm going to just stop the session because it's going to burn my unnecessary hours. So uh, I'm going to stop that. I'm going to save some hours for future testing. And uh, let's say if I go to the automation test session before which I executed. Oops. I select the user as execute automation. And if I select this particular test session which I executed before. And you can see this is the version uh and size of the application package info or the http command being executed and you can see that the screenshot is available here uh, during the execution and there is a response body as well and there is a log and you can click this particular uh, view log to see the log that is being generated during the execution of the test so it's pretty simple and straightforward right the one which we saw before uh, to see the analytic information in our catalan studio if you remember analytics.catalon.com which is pretty much easy very helpful to run and see how your tests are very being executed uh, something like this and this kind of portal was kind of free whereas this one the copy 10 is kind of cheaper than compared to these procedures but it's pretty easy and you can see that it's much faster and easier to execute our existing test cases on the clouds real devices instead of just running on a simulator or an emulator right so that's it guys this is how you can work with Cobiton of catalan studio and once again thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day